Hey, evil guy level. Just kidding, regular guy level here. Today, we're gonna be making a Twitch overlay using Canva. Yes, this Canva. I wanna show you how to make it step by step, but the link to the template will be available in the description. So let's speed run this. So the first thing you wanna do is go to canva.com, log in with your account and click on create design. Top right here, you're gonna click on presentation just because it's 1080p. I'm gonna close that other tab and we're gonna immediately go to uh, elements, go to the search bar here and I'm gonna type uh, night sky. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna scroll until I find something that looks half decent. I'm actually gonna pick one from graphics since we're gonna have something that's kind of a uh, flat. We're gonna adjust it. So that's gonna be our background. Now I'm gonna go back to the search and type rectangle. And I'm gonna click on the rounded rectangle here, right there, okay? And we're basically gonna do a little bit of styling. I'm gonna click on the border style up here. And I'm gonna add a border weight of four, if it would let me. What a great website. It's just moving around. Okay, cool. Well, just stop before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna click on border color here and we're gonna set a gradient. I'm gonna pick that one and I'm actually gonna rotate this to 90 degrees. Nice. Now we can create the frame for our webcam basically. So it doesn't have to be 19 by nine precisely, but if you intend on having gameplay in there, you should make sure that it's 19 by nine. Gonna leave it like this, leave some space for the chat later on. And we wanna center that horizontally a little bit just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna click away and then click on it once again. I'm gonna click duplicate and I'm gonna bring that one that we just duplicated. I'm gonna bring it on top of itself. Then I'm gonna go to the main color here and I'm gonna pick that gradient. I'm going to go up here and basically bring that down just a little bit. Uh, bottom part doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna duplicate this one again. So we're gonna have three layers like that on top of each other. Now, finally, I can pick the color that I want. And in this case, I want something that is, oh wow, this is where I could pick the gradient styles. So that rotation step is no longer necessary. You don't have to do it. Now, I don't want a gradient for that one. I actually want a normal color. This could do it. Yeah, why not? And I'm gonna drag this one down a little bit. Now, while this is still selected, I'm going to bring it up a little bit tiny amount and I'm going to get rid of the border style for that one. So border weight, well, you can just click none. Okay, I'm gonna click away. I wanna select that background image that we put and I wanna make sure that it's locked. I can click up here for the on the lock basically. So I'm not gonna select it accidentally, right? Because right now what I wanna do is select all of those just like this and group them. Nice, and then I can duplicate them, okay? Boom, duplicate. And we're gonna bring that horizontally aligned. And I'm gonna bring it to the right. And we want pretty much the same distance that we have on the left here between the border and the actual object. But if it's not exactly that, it's fine. If you can't tell, no one will. No one will. Same thing here, you kinda want the same distance in between the chat and that element. But again, just eyeball it. Don't think about it too much. Okay, just like that, you created your chat. I'm also gonna duplicate it one more time. And this time, this is gonna be our labels bars. I'm gonna keep it kind of kind of big so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna bring it to the left here because I'm going to ungroup it. I don't wanna have issues selecting it later. So ungroup, click away, click the top one. I'm gonna drag it to the side, just like that. Then I'm gonna select those two ones on the left, so the same ones basically. I'm gonna hold shift, click on that one. And now I can bring it up and we want to make a rounded rectangle. Is that even going to be visible? Maybe not enough. Let's go back. <laughs> okay, we're going to click with the one with the gradient. We're going to bring it down way more. We're going to click on that one. We're going to bring it down also way more. And now we can select them. Hold shift, click on that one. It is selected. Bring it up and all right, that's not too, too bad. Drag it to make it a little bit longer. And there you go. Congrats. You have a labels bar. You can even group it just like that. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to click on the corners this time just to scale down. And I'm going to place it kind of in the middle of that bar. So it's basically going to be on top of the camera a little bit, right? It's it's it makes it look a little bit more professional, right? Let's duplicate this. I'm going to line it up horizontally, drag it, put a little bit of space in between it, then click duplicate again and Honestly, this is a feature that I like with Canva. The fact that if you click duplicate twice, it basically repeats the previous action. I think that's pretty nice. 
Now I'm going to drag this to make sure it's centered vertically with our main frame. No hacker. Maybe bring it down a little bit so it's less in your face, just like that and center it again. Nice. OK, now we just need to add a little bit of decoration. What I like to do is type uh, particles. And under graphics, we go find some free stuff. Click once. Boom. You got your particles here. We're going to modify them a little bit so we can bring some color out of it. Actually, this is going to be your chat so you can. Uh, and in order to bring the color out, I'm going to go to edit image, which is going to be over here. And there's a bunch of fancy stuff here, but I just like to go to adjust temperature here. I'm going to bring that all the way to the left and then I'm going to bring the tint all the way to the left. Then uh, finally, all we have to do is bring down the white. I don't know why I said finally, it's not the last step and color. Bring that up. Saturation, bring that up. And there you go. Look at that. We have little blue particles. Duplicate that one. Click. Drag. And if it's not showing right now, oh, it is showing. Uh, it was just taking some time to load. OK, no problem. <laughs> and uh, we're going to place this one here. Now it's we can't have it be on top of the camera, right? Because we're actually going to delete that main part to have our camera. So what we're going to do is basically place it behind, right? So we're going to right click on it. We're going to click layer, send backwards or or if you're feeling fancy, you can click show layers, press Alt one. The one selected is the one you have selected here. You can just click on the little dots, drag it until it's just on top of that background image. And there you go. It's no longer on top of our webcam. We can do a bit more by typing under elements here. We can type sparkles until you find that one. I kind of like that one. So let's modify it. We can make it big so you can really see what it looks like. And I'm going to go to edit image and click adjust. Same thing as before. Bring the temperature all the way to the left. Bring the tint all the way to the left. You can see it's already adopting our colors, so we don't need to do much more. <laughs> and then place those where you want them to be placed. So I want a little bit top left. We have some stuff top left and bottom right. So we want this top right, actually. And now we're going to duplicate it and place it over there, the bottom left. And there you go. Now, personally, this is where I am going to stop because I want you to be able to customize it as you please. If you want to put some text, you can do that. If you want to put your own logos or icons at the bottom here to say if it's going to be a label for new followers, put a heart. If it's going to be a label for subs, put a star. If it's going to be for the top tipper, put a crown. But there's one thing to note is that Canva doesn't let us export transparent images for free, at least last time I checked. So we're going to utilize the whole chroma key effect and basically have a color that doesn't show up anywhere here as our webcam canvas color. So I'm going to click on that group in the middle here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on group. We no longer want them to be a group. Click away, click in the middle, select that one. And uh, yeah, give it a color that you're you're fairly certain isn't anywhere else in your image. All right. So now if I'm you using the template, I'm going to click share and then I'm going to go to download. Then I'm going to go to PNG, it creates 1080p. I'm even going to save the download settings and click download. I'm going to pick where I want it to be and save. Nice. It's going to show up here. It's going to look all weird with that pink. But it's fine. I'm going to show you how to deal with that. We're going to go ahead and open up OBS Studio. And I'm going to make a new scene for that. We're going to go image. So we're going to add a new source. OK, you know how to add a new source in OBS. And uh, we're going to find that image that we just created. Also, I realized that OBS doesn't like my little mouse thing. So we're going to turn that off for now. Here it is. Click open. OK, and then immediately right click on it. Go to filters. Click plus and find color key. OK, now that you have the color key filter right there, we're going to go to key color type and find custom color. We're going to click select color because this is not a green screen. And then we're going to click on pick screen color. Click and then go to your canvas or whatever. Click here. <laughs> I say whatever and click OK. And just like that, you have a transparent background. Now, there's a little bit of residue on the corners here. And this is where you can play with the sim similarity. If you have to play a little bit with the smoothness, things very important. I'm going to bring that all the way up and click OK. Now, all you have to do is add your camera. Why is my neighbor drilling at midnight, man? Now all you have to do is add your camera. So we're going to click plus. My camera is in its own scene, so I'm just going to add it as a scene. And there it is. Hi. And I'm going to click and drag it to the bottom underneath the overlay. 
Chada, you got it. We made an overlay in Canvas and it is working in OBS Studio with a little bit of transparency too. Now, if you're using a widget service that uses a browser source for everything, you can just upload this image. There you'll be able to add your chat, add your labels, then just put it in OBS as a browser source. Now, here's the thing. I've never actually shared a template with Canva before. So let's see template link. Anyone with the link can use this design as a template. Sign in is required, but you won't know who made copy. Uh, uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Cool. Create template link. Let's try opening it. A template created by Get Level was shared with you. Start designing now. That is pretty cool. Check the description. 